Hi, I'm Eduardo Montalvo, Applications Engineer with Coto Technology. Today I'm here to talk about the Omnipolar TMR Sensor. If you're interested in more generalized discussions of TMR sensors, please check out our growing video library which is available on our website. Omnipolar digital sensors can activate with a magnetic field of any polarity. In other words, the output will change state whenever the specific magnetic field threshold is passed, regardless of whether it's a north or a south pole. Red Rock digital TMR sensors are active low devices, meaning that the output is high when no field is present and it goes low in the presence of a magnetic field as long as that exceeds its activation threshold, or what we call BOP. Let's take a look at our Red Rock TMR sensor board, where we have an omnipolar sensor placed here. This sensor activates with 9 gauss and its output is connected in a way that turns on this LED above when it's triggered. The arrow here shows the axis of sensitivity of the sensor, which is the axis along which the magnetic field will have the most impact. Now if I bring in this magnet, which has been magnetized along its length, and align it with the sensor's axis of sensitivity, we can see that at a certain distance the LED will turn on, meaning the sensor has been activated. As the magnet moves away, the LED will turn off at a point that is farther distance than when it turned on which is due to the sensor's hysteresis. If I repeat the process with the reverse polarity, the same activation can be achieved. Now although the axis of sensitivity is along this line, it does not necessarily mean that this is the only way to activate this sensor. Note how the sensor can still be activated if the magnet is brought in from above. This is because the field from the magnet, which flows from North Pole to South Pole, has a component that aligns with the axis of sensitivity and is strong enough to trigger the sensor. This sensor is perfect for proximity detection applications where the orientation of the magnet isn't important to the activation of the sensor. This includes security applications, such as door alarm systems, and medical devices, many of which are hermetically sealed and need to conserve battery power before they're used. As an example, we have a second omnipolar sensor here, which is used as the wake-up mechanism for the entire board, also known as out-of-the-box application. If the board is placed inside this box, which has a magnet directly facing that sensor, the whole board will turn off, which helps to conserve battery. Our omnipolar sensors are available in various sensitivities. This sensor activates with 30 gauss, whereas the first one activates with 9. This gives freedom in selecting the magnet size, grade, and the distance from the sensor. For these applications, having an omnipolar response is advantageous because it eliminates the need to point the magnet in a specific way. As seen before, the sensor has a much wider range of positions from which it can be activated. This gives more freedom to design in the magnet and sensor. For a full explanation of how TMR works, or for more detailed information on other TMR sensor variants, please check out Kodo's other videos in the video library on our website. For more information, contact us directly at appsupport at See you next time.